Hello everyone, welcome to the 8th video to beginner's guide on how to revit. To summarize, we were able to do grids for our plan, levels for the elevation, structural columns in line with the grid as well as walls, then link a CAD for our guide and properly adjust our model and its elements with the CAD. Now, for this video, let's do some floors. Head to ground floor plan view, view architecture, on this tab, look for floors, this one, and this. Now, if we're feeling a little, a little bit lazy, let's just do a square, sketch, a square sketch. Now, let's go to 3D. That's it. There's our floor. Now we're done. I'll see you in the next video. Nah, I'm kidding. Of course not. So, zoom in a bit. You'll see that the walls and columns are somewhat not in line or protruding. Let's fix that. Let's do a bit of an advanced flooring here. If you remember, back in part 03 levels, I showed you two layers per level. So let's apply that here for just for modeling purposes. Let's go back to ground floor plan view. Hide the CAD. Hover your mouse to the edge of the slab like so. Then keep pressing tab. There we go. Now we were able to click our floor, but a quick a quicker way. Let's click back here to cancel everything. This button right here allows us to select an element by its face, so we can easily click it here, unlike if this is toggled off. No matter what I do, I cannot click it. So, let's click this, click this one, and go to Edit Boundary. But, before we do an Edit Boundary, once we're done with the floor, always make sure this is ticked off. Many times I was dragging it by mistake like this, and I never noticed it because it didn't give much of a warning sign. Unlike if this is unselected, you cannot drag it. Not unless you click here and like this. So let's do an undo. Okay, edit boundary. We will move our square sketch to the exterior walls. Either you align them. Or, just make another sketch, this one, there you go, delete this, attach this, delete, drag this one, or another command is the trim. Okay, let's go back to 3D, and that's our slab. So, let's try to change its thickness and material. Same as what we did in the floor, edit type, always duplicate. Mm, let's make this home, ARC, no, structural, slab. Edit structure. Here's the material. Change it to whatever you want. So let's look for something different. You know what? Since it's a slab, let's leave it as is. Okay. Apply. There we go. As you see, it became thicker, but it's using a different kind of floor material. Let's use concrete. Go back to edit type. Edit structure, wood finish. Let's use this one. Okay, oh well, that's good enough. Next up, we will do our finished flooring. Let's go back to ground floor plan view. 
show our CAD. That's temporarily hydro slab. Floor, floor architectural. This one, add a type, duplicate. Let's name it 100 mm. something with a very good color. Let's use this door frame, which looks like brown or wood. Okay, okay, apply, okay. Then, let's sketch this like so. Okay. Look at this one. There's a warning sign. Highlighted floors overlap. That's because we never did change the host level for both the slab floor and the finish floor. Let's go here so we can see it. Cancel this one. Look for the area of the kitchen. It should be here. Hide temporarily. As you see, there's our kitchen flooring. That should be way above the slab. So, in order to do that, let's find a way to click it. Click this one, or again, use this. But let's, not, let's try to avoid using this one. Here is the extent or the constraint. So since we're using 100 mm, it should be 100 mm above the slab. So 100. Now that's better. See, if I put it to 99, there will be a 1 mm clash. See, they've, they eventually gave us a, a warning sign. If I put this 101, there will be a 1 mm distance from the slab to the finish. And hide. Okay, so there's the flooring that we have for our kitchen. You see this one? The wall is clashing with the column. In order to do that, we can actually do it in 3D. Use an align command. Tab, tab. Again here, tab, tab. Ah, did it work? Undo. Redo. Let's do that in plan view. So this one. Ah, okay. It's because of the join command. If I were to make this disallow join and drag it like this, it will be okay. See? Now, this is the next problem. Disallow join. Align command. There. Now that's fine. We should have plenty of other clashes. Mm, this one, but I will not do this. I will have you do it on your own. And this one here as well. Anyway, so let's go back to flooring. Let's do the floor for bedroom. Yeah, let's do a bedroom floor. Tab, click. Go back here. Duplicate. We'll name this as bedroom. So, in a bedroom, usually it's a rug. So, usually, how thick is a rug? Usually it's just 10. Let's try to look for a carpet here. Ah, nice. There's a default carpet. Now, we gotta change our offset since we changed the thickness as well. We forgot to change the name here. Let's go back. Rename. Hmm. We did something wrong. I think we didn't duplicate. Oh, never mind. Here it is.
Now, another tip. You can use this green line here. It means pick line. It allows us to pick edges like so. See how easy that was. Next is with rim. Oh, never let finish flooring clash with anything. With rim. Lines cannot intersect each other. So let's look for the error. Click show. It's not showing. Ah, there it is. We should we forgot to trim this part. Continue. It's showing light, showing floor overlap. Why? We forgot to change this to 10. Now that error is gone. Let's go back to 3D and check. Now that looks better. Okay, so now I will leave it up to you to put flooring on the other in the other rooms. So I guess that's it. In the next video, we will be doing some cleanup. I'll also explain some visual menus of Revit's interface. And that's it. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. It will help me a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.